Hey guys, uh, the last time I posted a video, I was doing a demonstration, uh, explanation, I guess rather, of my night vision system, and I wanted to show you some of the things that I've done since then, and some things that are still coming from that. Um, one of the things that I was battling with was trying to figure out how to best mount the camera and the battery and try to contain all the wires. Um, still haven't solved the wire problem yet, strictly speaking, but I think I'm on the right track for the battery and the screen. Um, I found a video online of a guy, I think he was in Scotland, I'm not sure where, but he came up with the idea of using a GoPro camera handlebar mount. So you, know, you mount a camera on the front of your bicycle or a motorcycle, I guess. Um, and he said that that worked really well because the diameter of the scope tube is close enough to a handlebar tube that it fits. And what he did was, for a camera, they have there's a little, uh, it's a plastic piece that has like a rubber gasket on it that has a, a screw on it, and you you screw it into the bottom of the camera. And what he did was he drilled a hole into the bottom of his little black electronic project box, and put that that little plastics, uh, I guess you call it a nut, put it inside the project box, threaded the uh, screw through there, and then tightened it down so it held onto the box. And that way you end up with something that looks kind of like this. So the, uh, and what you're in the, I haven't gotten my uh, camera mount, but I ordered one off of Amazon, so I should have it in a couple days, hopefully. But there will be a hole drilled here, and then this will get mounted to that camera mount, and then I can just clamp this onto the tube and it'll be pretty rigid. You can see this thing is solid. Now the camera, let's see if I can show you how this, uh, the camera, or the, not the camera, the, uh, what's that thing called? The, the LCD screen, excuse me. The LCD screen has a backing on it. I don't know if you can see it there. And it kind of sits on a post. This is kind of my uh, my not so pretty setup. But what I did was I actually I broke the pack off of that. So here's it broke off, and it left a little ball in the back of it. I used a drill and drilled it out until I got I could get some pliers in there, and then I pulled out what was left of that ball. And then what I did was I took a hole drill. If I can get this thing off, I'll show you. There we go. And I drilled out a hole in the back of the lid so that the little, uh, see if I can, you can see the the back of the, uh, the LCD screen actually pokes through the back of this so that it fits into the project box. And the next thing I did was I drilled holes on each side so that I have power in and power out readily available there and this whole thing can just snap back on it takes a little bit of futzing to get it to work but it it goes on there pretty nicely and it's solid and that was the part that i was struggling with was trying to get this thing to be solid so it's not going to fall apart on me while i'm hiking through the woods or something like that um and so this is pretty much garbage um the other thing that I did is I came up with a better way of mounting the camera onto the scope. So what I did was I took a plumbing fitting, kind of like this, and what I did was I measured my scope with some calipers. So um, calipers can be really expensive. These on the other hand are not. I think these were like $7 or $12 or something at Harbor Freight. and. Uh, yeah, they're not good for aerospace manufacturing, but they work really great for doing home projects. So, um, anyway, I took that, I measured the uh, diameter of the scope, and then I went to Ace Hardware, and the guys were making fun of me at Ace Hardware. They know me, I'm always there doing weird stuff. But I uh, checked all the plumbing fittings until I found one that was fit, that would fit just perfect. So, um, and then, see if I can get this apart and I can show you. 
So what I end up with was a piece of plastic PVC pipe and I used a Dremel tool and kind of routed out the corners. I don't know if it shows up in there. There you go. You can kind of see it. And it holds that camera just about perfect. And it it's not not loose at all. I mean, this thing is not coming out anytime soon. I had to kind of use my thumbs and pop it in. But this fits into the fat end of this almost perfectly. Um, not this one, actually. The one that's on my gun. But... This was, I'm using this as an example. If I tried to, this one won't fit. That's why this one is not on my gun. Um, but you end up with a system that I can take this in and out really easily. And the upshot to that is I can still use the scope normally. If I don't want to use the camera, I just pop this out and I can still look through that tube down through the scope. And it works really, really well. So um, I'm really excited and looking forward to getting the, the screen and the battery onto that... Uh, camera bike mount so that I can get this onto my scope and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, someone, I know someone's going to ask about it, but how do I get the screen onto the, the stick to this thing? Um, so this is kind of an odd story. Uh, I won't go into details, but I needed an application that required a waterproof adhesive that was double-sided for another project that I was working on and so I had some tape left over this is uh, it's actually a butyl rubber with some really really sticky stuff I mean this stuff is it doesn't let go for anything it's really really sticky um, I got this at Ace Hardware and I think it's probably again like four dollars for a roll of it um, Again, the guys at Ace Hardware were laughing at me because they know I do all kinds of weird projects. But this stuff is really handy to have around because once you stick it with this stuff, you better mean it because it's not coming off easily. You're probably going to break something when you take it apart. It's almost like glue. This is glue. Strong stuff. It's really strong stuff. But anyway, that was how I stuck the, uh, the, the TV screen. So you can see me... Um, you can see the TV screen is attached to the uh, front of the project box, and it's 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 solid. It's not coming off anytime soon. That stuff stays sticky when it's cold, when it's wet, when it's hot. It doesn't matter. It's stuck. So that was the only thing I wanted to mention. I forgot to uh, point that out because I know someone is going to ask about that. All right. Hey guys, uh, it's been about a week since I recorded that last bit of the video, and since then, the motorcycle GoPro camera mount handlebar thing that I ordered came. It comes in a little bag like this, and this is what it looks like. It has a little ball in it, and this tightens the uh, pressure on it so it won't move, and then when you loosen it, this whole thing moves around so that you can adjust the location of your screen. And this is the little nut that I was talking about. It has a little rubber gasket on the top on a camera that pushes up and holds the camera steady. In our installation, it's a little bit different. I actually found that I couldn't use this because... Whoops. Just a second. Sorry about that. I found that it was actually thicker than my project box, so it wouldn't fit. So I had to come up with another solution. So um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put this back together real quick. So I have, this is what I ended up with. And you can see it's attached. I drilled a hole in the bottom. Let's see if I can get my fingers out of the way so you can actually see it. You can see there's a hole in the bottom. And it goes through there. And I'll see if I can get this apart so you can see. I went to the hardware store and got a washer and a just a little nylock lock nut that holds it in place. And that way um, it stays attached to the box. It's pretty solid. Um, and then this part clamps around the scope. And there's a little screw that goes in there. This part is shaped, that's kind of hard to see, but ah, just pull it apart. Yeah. This part is uh, hex shaped, so whenever you, once you get this in, it holds it, and you can tighten it. And then this clamps around the barrel of the scope. 
So I have a scope here. This is going to be a little bit awkward, so bear with me. Um, here's a scope. This is a UTG, I think it's AccuShot, if I remember correctly. Um, I bought it used from an air gun form from a guy. But um, <clears throat> So this closes around the, the scope. And once this, this is a, a one inch diameter barrel on the scope, which is a little bigger than my other, other scopes. There we go. But once that's through, <clears throat> take this part, get it on there, and once you get it threaded, you tighten it up. It doesn't take a whole lot, but that thing is on, so it's not moving anywhere. Now the upshot to this is, if I can loosen this a little, one of the things I found that was kind of it worked really well was playing around with this on my <clears throat> my Benjamin Marauder pistol, um, and you can turn it so that it's actually on the side of the scope, and then you can aim it, and that way you put the camera in and you twist it 90 degrees and all of a sudden this is up and down and this is left to right. <clears throat> and so long as you're not recording video, this works really, really well. And I can have the scope off to, or the, uh, the camera off to the side, I can still look over top of the scope and it's not obstructing my view. Um, the other part of that is on my, my gun I have some flashlights mounted to uh, Picatinny rails on the side and they're infrared flashlights so I can hunt you know, rats and things like that at night. Um, but this works really, really well. If you want to record video, though, with the DVR, you kind of have to have this up on the top, and you have to have the orientation right, or else you're going to be watching your video on your computer sideways like that, which is a little bit awkward. But I just thought I'd share that so you guys could see it and um, see what the final product was that I ended up with, and I think it worked out really, really well. Um, I did show you the, uh, the camera, so I think that's about it. I mean, oh, you, you do have to clean up these wires a little bit, but I mean, just a little bit of Velcro or even twist ties, rubber bands, some electrical tape, you know, anything that just takes all this, these loose wires and just kind of takes all the slack out of it and bundles it behind this thing it works just fine. It's, you know, like I said, I'm all about function, not aesthetics. If you're someone that is really picky about how your gun looks, I'm not the person to be helping you. So I hope that helps with, uh, the last bit of this project and I'll be moving on to something else. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing with this video. I just kind of like doing this. So I may be doing some projects with my son. He's six, almost seven years old. Um, sorry, my camera's, the battery's going dead on my phone. Um, my son likes to play around and do projects with me. So maybe I'll do something with him. Um, maybe we'll do some hikes and things like that and we'll make some kind of videos. I'm not sure. I'm a bit of a physics nerd. I like doing stuff with physics also. Um, we'll see. So anyway, uh, feel free to share this video, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about it, you know, whatever. I'm a nice guy. Have a good one. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.